Hey guys, this is Mrs. Stickler, and I was going to quickly go over your homework for tonight. Um, notice that I've got a couple of things out here. I have my big formula sheet because right there is the formula I'm working with. Remember, on the formula sheet, H and K are the center. Well, H and K are right here, but it's important to remember this sign in front of it. If I want to find the origin, I have to, I mean, I want to find the center, I've got to make sure I have this pot, these, this is kind of a negative H is the center and a negative K is the center. So you always want to do the opposite of what's here. Let's, let me show you what I mean in a problem. So right here on this one, this is my H and this is my K, but this is a positive 3. What's the opposite of a positive 3? Well, it would be a negative 3. Here's a, po a negative 17. What's the opposite of that? Positive 17. So I know the center of the circle that goes with this equation is negative, 13, negative 3, 17. Now, when we look back at our formula, we notice that r squared is on the end. So this 16 is my r squared. So I will really do this. I'll remind myself that whatever that is equals r squared. So I have to take the square root of it to find out what r is. And in this situation, r, or my radius, is 4. So as I go to plot this, and some of you were asked to plot, some of you were not. If you were asked to, keep doing. If you were not asked to, you, you can do it. It's not hard, and it would be good practice for you. But I'm not going to count it off if you don't. So I first of all want to find the center, negative 3, 17, and negative 3 is here, 1, 2, 3, and then I go up 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17 is my center. I know my radius is 4, so I'm going to lightly go around and say 1, 2, 3, 4, there's one place, and there's another. One, two, three. There's another, and there's the last. Now, if you don't have a compass, you can just sketch it, but I do have a compass, so I'm going to go ahead and use my compass here to actually draw the circle. So you'll see how I did that. I just matched it up. Notice that my, my sharp end is on the center, and then I just measured the distance, and now I'm going to draw around the circle here. And it may not be exactly perfect, and that's okay. We're just going to get along today. How's that, guys? It's kind of hard to do with my paper ripping here. But you get the idea. We would basically sketch a circle, and I would say, okay, what letter is inside that circle? Well, it's R. So we would come down here to the bottom, and I would go to, we did number one, and I would go find number one, and I would put the letter R in that box. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. In order for me to find you know, how would I get that? Because this would have to be x plus 0 squared, I mean, let's put a minus sign because it would be a minus, plus y minus 0 squared would equal 9. So what is my pair? What's my center, the ordered pair for the center? Well, h is 0 and k is 0, so it would be 0, 0. So in this particular problem, the origin is the center. Now I know that r squared equals 9. So take the square root of both. I know my r is 3. So I would come back here, find the origin, count 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then I would kind of sketch the circle. And I'm going to do this one freehand for you because I'm not very good at drawing circles, so I often will use a compass to kind of make it look better. What letter is inside that circle? The letter N. So you would come down and go to number two and put an N. I hope that helps you do your homework tonight. If you have any other questions, please come and see me during Spartan time. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.